Right then, animation. It's Friday the 12th of April. Uh, first bit of good news. I've had the engineer out this morning who's fitting an external antenna on my, uh, for my internet. So, all being well, the internet is all singing, all dancing. So, happy days. It's not coming down the telephone line, it's coming out the sky. Through the airwaves. 4G. So, second bit of good news, let me turn you around. Now, the workbench is a bit of a mess. Because... I just need to put my glass on for this. The workbench is a bit of a mess, but you'll, you'll see I've wired in my double switched metal clad double sockets with some 20, 20 mil galvanised conduit clips. Let me sh shut this. Another one there and another one down there. Now look, just let me take you around here. What I've done is because I've got a cannon doing the wiring, but not today, because I don't know where all the sockets are going. I'm gonna, uh... hang on. Just let me turn John Lennon off. That'll do, sorry John, but you know. Right, so what I've done, I've got all these cables here, that the old switches. So I've just found the ring mine, yeah. And I've just put it into this uh, weatherproof box. Pro put the proper stuffing glands on there, nice and tight. So that's just a temporary uh, power supply. Uh, that, that box will eventually be changed for a, a double weatherproof plug socket. So let me take you back in the Shed of Dreams. So I've already tested it, but as you can see, I've got my battery chargers on. But a good little gadget is one of these plug testers, yeah? You can see where I got this one from, but they're available from other leading stores and online. So basically, if you've got a problem in your house and something's blown a fuse or you don't know what the problem is, yeah, you've got these three LEDs, two green and a red. So basically, when I put this in, I want the two green ones to light up and the, the one on the right to stay blank. And if that's right, it means it's all correct. And it should, and it should buzz, yeah? Perfect. Great little piece of kit. I don't know how much it was. They're not a lot. But it's ideal, you know, when you've got a problem, do it right, do it once. And that's it. So yeah, so I've got these three double plug sockets in now. So I've got me I've got my workbench in. Let me stand back. Let's get a let's get a a view from the dark end. So bench is in, windows in. Three double plug sockets on the back of that bench. Happy days. I've also, as promised, I've, put, I've cut some timbers and I've put a little reveal around the side of this window on a bit of OSB. So that's good enough for me now. So I'm just going to go and get the kettle on and then I'm going to get my, uh, can't see from here, but I'm going to see all the smudges on the glass. Yeah, that's no good. So I'm going to go and get my clean. I'm going to clean that. Uh, glass now. So yeah, happy days. So the lights are in. I've got plenty of power in there. So, so it's all looking good. And Sean is a happy boy because it's Friday. You know what Friday means? Means the dal's coming. You should best best bring some biscuits or some cakes because I've got none in. So yeah. Uh, let me walk you out into, into the sunshine. God, I've got to clear up this shed. It's a right mess. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have a break. And then this afternoon, I'm going to clear up the mess. And then tomorrow, it's full on cutting and preparing these containers for me potatoes. And hopefully, this weekend, I'm going to plant... Oof, I'd like to think I could plant 20 tubs of potatoes. So, yeah, it's all good. So, until then... Uh, go and have a cup of tea it's Friday, have a biscuit or a cake and uh, I'll see you later happy days